too many people with behavioral health problems were going to jail. Too many people with behavioral health problems were going to the emergency room. As a result, we had people that were not getting to stay in the community and they were uh, at increased risk during COVID-19. The goal with crisis services is to get people to get the care they need in the community at the level of care that uh, is needed. The, the key partnerships are at all levels, federal, state, local levels. Uh, the national organizations that are involved in this effort are all key players, as well as working with our federal partners, CMS, SAMHSA, uh, working with the state commissioners, working with the local jurisdictions. We have to get them all on board. What are people doing to maintain their emotional health, maintain their physical health? During COVID-19, what has happened is that we are all in a situation together that we have very little control over. Uh, the general wellness or the general emotional health of uh, the individuals in the United States is one of being very anxious, despondent, fearful. So by, by informing the general public of what we have available in mental health and in behavioral health, we're able to reach out to the overall population to help them get through COVID-19. SAMHSA came out with national guidelines for behavioral health crisis care. Those guidelines promote best practices and having all states set up systems based on those best practices for crisis lines, for mobile crisis teams, for crisis stabilization, for short-term residential, being able to follow the best practices and take it to scale. So I think we're set up very well at this point because of the national guidelines, because of 988 coming out effective July 2022, which will give us a crisis line. We are set up very well for a national movement to promote best practices uh, for every state. I think that we can be successful over the next 10 years in accomplishing a major change. That question is really key to what is happening in the United States right now. Uh, as a result of COVID-19, as a result of the increased awareness of disparities, of health inequity, and of some of the structural racism that has been uh, exposed uh, over the last few months. We have an opportunity to really make a difference, to have behavioral health people taking care of situations where individuals ha have a behavioral health need. In the past, we used 911. The police were called. Well, the police are not trained in behavioral health. If we can get them the help as early as possible, we can do what's best for them. We can do what's best for cost effectiveness, and we can help the police to work in situations that they are most skilled in. By making the changes that we're recommending with the crisis services, it really has to follow a public health model or should include uh, addressing suicide prevention. This uh, cannot just be done by the mental health community, the behavioral health community. This has to be done by the public health community. A challenge before us, but also we have a great opportunity. And I think that there should be great hope as a result of this effort.